Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Crypto, the channel where we cover the most important crypto news in just five minutes. So, if you guys enjoy the no ads and no BS, make sure you support the channel by pressing the like button and subscribing. Now, this week has been a crazy week. We just hit $10,000 per Bitcoin. Afterwards, we fell like 15% and it's just been going completely mental. So, it actually follows one of the predictions that we did yesterday and that was that if we do not cross ten thousand dollars we would fall back down quite significantly if the first major support wouldn't hold it did not do that and exactly what we thought would happen happened which to a certain extent is good to a certain extent is very very bad because that means we're stuck with some losses however traditionally it is the way that just before the halving it, it keeps going up this time, though, yeah, it didn't really happen that much. I mean, we're really one day away from the halving, and prices are not looking to be going up anytime soon. However, we've been surprised a lot this week, and I would not be too, too bamboozled if it were to happen again. But here's some of the most important things that happened this week. Yes, we did hit $10,000. Yes, Paul Duder Jones is bullish on Bitcoin. He's been bullish on Bitcoin, but specifically investing in Bitcoin futures. Libra gets a CEO. While Bitcoin has its week, month, and year, the Libra Association, also known as the controversial kind of stablecoin network, led by Facebook, this week appointed its first CEO, and his name is Stuart Levy, and he'll be starting the job this summer after vacating his current post on the Chief Legal Officer for HSBC. He used to be under the Secretary of the Treasury for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence. He held the position in both the Bush and Obama administrations. So that's pretty damn crazy. Dr. Doom and Peter Schiff lambast Bitcoin after it drops $2,000 in a couple of days. Again, the worst part of dumps isn't the dump, it's Peter Schiff's tweet afterwards. And Peter Schiff, I just think he is really kind of known for his notorious, famous Bitcoin quotes. He does very bullish things, he does very bearish things, and I'm personally more so thinking now of just kind of ignoring him because we saw earlier... Um, he's actually bullish on gold and bearish on Bitcoin. That's always his stance. Uh, whatever, if I said it wrong, I'm sorry. He always says it that he's doing this Bitcoin stuff because right now it's it's really booming and afterwards it will be not worth anything. And thus, he must take his best time right now to, you know, smash Bitcoin into the ground because otherwise all those people who follow him because of it will not be there anymore. Bitcoin hash rate, 65% is concentrated in China. Uh, Cambridge University has launched a map providing statistics on mining around the world. And I think it's actually pretty interesting if you think about it. Look at that. You know, it, it looks like it's all Europe-centered, but no. 65% of it is coming from China. And it's just because it's really spread out around here and really concentrated over in China. But um, that's really, really interesting, guys. Really interesting. Bank of England predicts worst economic crash in 300 years for the UK. Whew! 300 years worst crash since 1709 is what the Bank of England has been predicting and um, the current conditions and unprecedented in our lifetime and all forecasters are struggling to make out where the economy stands right now. Again, three reasons for the Bitcoin price halving dump from 10 to 8.1. Well, one of it is that FOMO hasn't been working out too well. I mean, that, that's kind of what it's been looking like. If you guys uh, have also seen it, <laughs> it's kind of been uh, kind of been looking like it, if I do say so myself. It's one of the things I've been seeing. Second of all is that people are buying the news or buying the rumor and selling the news. And the third of all is most likely that there's a lot of manipulation going on. In their words, the three things are, um, let's see here, whales quickly move to sell Bitcoin at the point of rejection, massive volatility ahead of halving, and well, I guess that's basically it. Tron now ranks second after Ethereum in the issuance of Tether. The Tron network now hosts the second largest amount of Tether after the Ethereum network. Not significant, not important, but cool to know. And XRP dipping below 20 cents proves it's yet to decouple from Bitcoin, which is definitely quite true, guys. XRP is really, really connected to Bitcoin still. And I guess most coins are. None of them are really not connected. Um, and I guess that rumor is also kind of out of the air right now. Maybe it won't be in the future, but for right now, it's definitely not there yet. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. See you guys again in another quickly, quickly five minute crypto video.